The diagram shows a circle with center A and radius R. Diameters CAD and BAE are perpendicular to each other. A larger circle has center B and passes through C and D. A. Show that the radius of the larger circle is R square root 2. The radius of the larger circle is any point from the point B to the edges of the circle. So therefore, BC is also the radius of the larger circle. The smaller circle has center at A. This means that AB and AC are the radius of the smaller circle, which is equal to small r. Since diameters CAD and BAE are perpendicular to each other, this makes a right angle at CAB, and therefore triangle ABC is a right angle triangle. When working with right angle triangles, it can either be trigonometry or Pythagoras. Trigonometry involves angles, and we don't have the angles, so therefore the only option here is Pythagoras. So therefore, r squared plus r squared equals big R squared, and we can use this to solve for big R, which is the radius of our larger circle. B. Find the area of the shaded region in terms of r. The area of the shaded region is equal to the area of the semicircle CADE minus shape CAD. The area of the semicircle CADE is very easy to find. However, shape CAD is slightly more complicated. The shape CAD can be found from the area of the sector CBD minus the area of the triangle CBD. So in summary, the area of the shaded region is equal to semicircle CAD minus the shape CAD, which is equal to pi r squared divided by 2 minus the area of CAD, which is sector CBD minus triangle CBD. The area of sector CBD can be found from theta over 360 degrees multiplied by pi multiplied by the radius of the larger circle squared, where the radius of the larger circle is r root 2 from part a. So in order to find the area of the sector, we need the value of theta first. And we can find the value of theta by looking at triangle ABC. In triangle ABC, the angle CBA would be equal to theta divided by 2. AC is the radius of the smaller circle, which is r, and BC is r square root 2 because it's the radius of the larger circle. So we have an angle to find the value of, and we have two side lengths of a right angle triangle. This means that we can use trigonometry to find out the value of our angle. We have the opposite side and we have the hypotenuse side of the right angle triangle. This means we can use sine theta over 2 equals opposite, which is r, over hypotenuse, which is r square root 2. And we can use this to find the value of theta. Some of you may have noticed that the triangle ABC is also in the format 1, 1, root 2. So some of you may have already noticed that the angle ABC or theta divided by 2 should be equal to 45 degrees. So now that we know the value of theta, we can now find the area of sector CBD in terms of R. 
we still need to find out the area of triangle CBD. The area of a triangle can be found from base times height divided by 2 or half AB sine C. In this case, I would do half AB sine C. Where A is equal to R square root 2, B is also equal to R square root 2, and angle C is equal to 90. Since angle C is equal to 90, BC is the height and BD is the base, so we could have done base times height divided by 2 as well. Now that we have everything we need in terms of R, we can finally summarize it and work out the area of the shaded region in terms of R. After working out the values and simplifying everything, we get area equals r squared. 